In this short tutorial, I'm going to talk about the 3 dB rule. Something that I've batted on about in class on numerous occasions. And the 3 dB rule is an important rule in acoustics. 3 decibel change represents, as you're probably fully aware now, as a perceptible change in level. Okay, so everybody can hear a change in noise of 3 decibels. So anything that rises from 80 to 83 would be perceptible. Anything below a 3 dB change is not perceptible to the human ear. The other important thing about the 3 dB rule is that it represents a doubling of sound intensity. Okay, so that means that you are getting double the amount of sound energy in your ears, which means in practice is that it's doing quite a lot of harm, particularly if you're looking at levels in excess of 85 dB. It's also used in the noise at work regulations and referred to in within the action levels, um, the lower action value, and also more importantly, the upper action value. The upper action value, just to remind you, stipulates that 85 dB is the absolute limit over an eight hour period. So that's our standard energy dose that we can receive over an eight hour working day. Using this 3 dB rule again, we can up this level to 88 dB for an exposure. This represents a doubling of sound intensity and means that we can be exposed to this for four hours. This means that 88 dB for four hours is actually equivalent to the 85 for eight hours. Okay. Equally, we can go down up to 91 dB. So for actually working behind the bar, for example, serving drinks and the levels are quite high, quite typically somewhere in the early 90s, you can work in that environment safely for up to two hours. So the 3 dB change is particularly important for, for this sort of application. Another area where it comes into is to do with the amount of absorption that you can put into a space. So in our room acoustic sessions so far, we've talked about absorption. What happens if we double the absorption in the room? Well, we can actually work out what the change in noise level will be in a room by looking at what the change in absorption is going to take place. So if we look at this formula here, which we've also covered in class. If the value of A2 is twice the value of A1, okay, we end up with 10 log 2. And if we work that value out, we'll actually get a value of 3 dB again. So therefore, a doubling of absorption in any space will result in a 3 dB fall in your noise level. Okay, so that concludes the 3 dB rule.